Hi everybody and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is an OpenTX quick tip and it's to do with the uh, TBS Crossfire which I recently bought. Now with the Crossfire receivers they suggest you use link quality rather than RSSI. Now this works in a slightly different way. Now your receiver, as the further you get away the um, hertz that the receiver is operating on, the transmitter is operating on, will adjust. It will go from 150 to 50 to 4. Now, if you get to 4, you're in a bit of trouble. You should really need to turn around and come back. So what we need to do is set up the link um, in our OpenTX radio so that it gives us warnings, a warning sign. So we can see the um, link quality within our goggles, which will say 300 to start off with. So that can be a bit confusing when we normally use RSSI at 100%. Um, and that will dramatically change. It will go from, I think it's from 300 to 200, and then it will drop down to 100. So if you get to 100, you're getting far, you know, far enough away where you really should think, maybe think about turning around. Um, I think that would probably be on long range flying. So we're gonna set up the radio, which I've seen has been recommended. So it gives you a warning at 80%. Now at 80%, it's probably best to turn around and come straight back towards yourself. And at 70, it's going to, my radio is gonna start screaming at me because I found a siren sound or something. Really, you need to turn around and come back. So let's have a look at this. It's not difficult to do. Uh, let's uh, switch over to the computer and I will show you the settings. Let's take a look at the link quality warning settings in my WT16 using OpenTX. So I'm going to open up my last backup. And there we go, there's my take end. Okay, first thing we're going to look at is the, once it opens, logical switches. Now, what we need to do now, I don't have any other logical switches set up for my Taycan, so the LO1 is going to be A is smaller than X. Now, this is where V1 is your RFMD. Now, I'm assuming that this is radio frequency mode. So as long as that's above two, you're not going to get any, any warnings at all. Then, of course, we need two warnings because we wanted at 80% and 70%. So the next line is LO2, A is greater than X. So um, RQL is greater than 80%, uh, smaller, bigger problem than 80%. And then we have to link that to AND switch, which is the LO1, which is the first one. Now, this would depend on where your logical switch starts but with this one it will be the first one which is LO1. Then we go to LO3 which is A is smaller than X so in other words RQL is smaller than 70 linked again to LO1 and then it would set this alarm off. So it's quite simple to set it up there and we have uh, no duration but we have a delay of 0.5 and 0.5 on LO2 and LO3. Now the reason is so you don't get two, if it briefly goes, you're not gonna get false alarms. And when you hear the siren that I've set up, you're gonna understand why you wouldn't want that to go off too many times. Then the next thing is to go to your special functions. And here, I'm gonna go right to the bottom here. Now, what I've done is I've set up to play a track. Um, it was suggested that you set up a, um, a sound, but I prefer a track. So, so if LO2 is active, it's going to play the track which I have made up. Both of these tracks I've, I've made up. Um, so, if my link quality goes below 80%, it's going to do this. Link quality critical. Okay, so that link quality critical won't give you a heart attack. But if it goes to 70% um, or slightly lower. The LO3 will be uh, become active and it's going to do this. I don't think I'm going to miss that playing on my radio and it's very loud on my radio. So that's all we need to do to set up our link quality in OpenTX. Let's take a look at the settings on the Jumper T16 to set up your link quality warnings. Okay, we need to hit the model button. Hold that down and then scroll across to logical switches and there you can see LO1 is A is smaller than X and we're picking up our telemetry setting RFMD which is the 
radio frequency mode, I think, and we put that at 2. Then we go to LO2, we say A is smaller than X, with X being the RQLY. We put our first warning in at 80%, and then link it to logical switch 1, and we give a delay of 0.5. Then we go to LO3, A is smaller than X, which again is the RQLY, and we put a, a, the rate, a, a mountain of 70%. We link it to LO1, and we put a delay in of 0.5. Then we need to go to our play tracks. And if we go down, you can see I've linked this special function to LO2, play track, and that is the um, link quality uh, critical, or link quality low. And then the next one, SF17, LO3, we play the track, which is the siren. And that's it on the radio. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you really enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and please share this video with your friends, it will help me out a lot. And if you have any questions or any comments please leave them in the comments section below because I really would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, happy flying, bye for now, bye.